this video will show how to create a CA certificate that allows you to connect to our WAGO PFC uh, web-based management and web visualization and secure connection. So when you connect to our WAGO and want to go to our web-based management by typing the IP address, you get this uh, message uh, because it's not a secure connection and also the uh, certificate is invalid. Uh, we're going to create a uh, secure uh, CA certificate and load it onto the PLC as well as the uh, HTTPS server certificate. Uh, in order to do that, uh, we're going to have to download and install XCA software. And I'll put the URL in the description. And once you install and open up the XCA software, uh, you may have some of the menus that are grayed out. Uh, so then we're going to have to start a, start a new database. And I'm going to call this Wago WBMCA. And you have to create a login. Uh, make sure you, you don't lose this password because you're going to need it whenever you work with the database. And now we're going to import in uh, just a default CA and HTTPS server. Um, this is going to be residing in the uh, program files uh, where the XCA is installed. So we'll import those two in and we're going to make changes to both. I'm just going to add some information. We're going to leave the common name blank. I'm going to go over to the extensions tab. For the path length, uh, we're going to put a zero, and zero means secure. And for the CA, uh, we're going to do 20 years. And click on apply, and click OK. And we're going to make the change to the server. Again, leave the common name blank. And go over to extensions. We're going to put zero again. Um, and this one I'll put 10 years. Uh, you can do 20 to keep it same with the CA certificate. Alright, so that will be our template that we'll be working with. Uh, so then now uh, we're going to create a new certificate. Um, here, okay, let's uh, back out. Um, go to Files, Options, and we're going to select SHA 512. Click OK. And now click on New Certificate. Uh, we're going to change the default to CA, apply all, we're going to come over to the subject, and now we're going to create an internal name for the certificate. And this time for the common name, I'm going to just keep it the same. And here, now I'm going to click on generate a new key, change this to 4096, and create. Okay, 
have successfully created. Okay. We'll click OK. Now it shows the new certificate right here. And then we're going to create another one for the server. Um, so make sure that uh, this option is selected. Use this certificate for uh, signing. And we're going to select Wago WBMCA. And again, change this to HTTPS server. We're going to click on Apply All, Subject. And then I'm going to name this PFC and my IP address of the PFC. Uh, and for the common name, um, the common name is a, is a property the browser is uh, receiving and is used to link between uh, the certificate and the device. So um, in, you can see that in, in the URL, um, we start off with the IP address. So in here, you have to do the same thing. Use the IP address for the common name. And then we're going to generate a new key. So keep in mind that if you change the IP address, then this certificate will not work. Um, so you will have to create another certificate that matches the IP address. Okay, so that one's created. Now, if you're using Chrome browser here, we have to add IP colon and then the IP address of the PFC and then we'll click OK. So now we have the CA certificate and the HTTPS server certificate. So next step is to export this and we're going to load it into the PFC. Um, I'm going to change I'm going to change the directory here. Um, So I'm just going to change the, the file path and the format's going to be PEM file. Um, and then for the server, uh, we're going to select PEM plus key. So now I'm going to use the WinSCP and connect to the controller. Uh, make sure you log in as root user. And we're going to go to ETC uh, and then light TPD. And here I'm going to copy the server and the CA certificate. And I need to make some changes to the TLS configuration file. Um, here we're going to point this to our new certificate, uh, which is a PFC 10.0.0.21. And I'm going to have to add one more line at the end here. Um, so SSL.ca-file, and it's going to point to uh, RCA certificate. So then we're going to save this file. Close out and we're going to close the session. And I'm going to go ahead and reboot the controller. Now while it's rebooting um, in the Windows uh, search and start menu. Uh, I'm going to type in mmc.exe and that brings up a console. And I'm going to go to file, add, remove, snap ins, add the certificate, and then double click on the certificate and double click on trusted root certification authority. Double click on cert cert certificate again. And more actions, all task, import. And here I'm just going to add that CA certification to the computer. 
So the computer that I'm using to connect to the PFC's uh, web-based management or web visualization um, will need this certificate imported in to this uh, trusted root certificate store. Um, so then go ahead and install. And now you see this uh, here installed. Um, I believe this might be my previous one. So this could have been my old one, so let me delete that. So once you install the uh, CA certificate to your computer, um, this you don't have to save. You can just close out. So now if I refresh now the web-based management is a secure connection and the certificate is valid. If I go ahead and uh, log in and I have a, a just a simple uh, web visualization running in here right now so now my web visualization is also a secure connection and a valid certificate. So this is uh, one way to avoid getting that not secure message. So if you have multiple uh, PFCs, then you can just create the, um, use this same CA file and just create a uh, multiple um, server certificate for each of the PFCs. Right, thank you for watching.